Okay, this is a simpler version of Satin Dow. Great classic jazz standard. And so, some people are intimidated by this song, but I really simplified it. So, you know, if you're uh, looking for something a little bit more challenging, then uh, this is for you. And it's at the same time, it, it's not that hard at all. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a D minor 7th. We're going to make two types of D minor 7ths. All right, so you're going to borrow the fret, uh, the fifth uh, fret, just the first five strings, and your second and third fingers are going to be, second finger is going to be on the second string, and your fourth finger, third finger is going to be on the, on the fourth string, okay? Sixth and seventh frets. You're also gonna need your pinky at one point. So what we're gonna do here is that I'm gonna give it to you line by line. All right. So well, maybe, well, maybe you can take a picture of all that. Seems like it's kind of uh, difficult, but we'll go over the first line. So you see that I wrote it out. D minor seventh low and D minor seventh high. So this is D minor seventh low. And the high is when you have the fourth finger. So you're just going to give a, a down strum and then an up strum. And when you give the up strum, you're going to strum the first five strings down and then an up. You're going to you're going to place your fourth finger on the up. And then you're going to lift up your fourth finger. So no fourth finger, fourth finger. So down, up, down, and then a G, it's like an F form, but it's a G, okay? So you're on the third fret, and then you're going to add two, which is just, you can use your fourth finger to go on the first string, fifth fret. And that's going to be a down, up. So we have D minor seventh with your pinky, without your pinky, and then a G. And then you add the two. You play that twice. Now you're going to take this whole progression. Okay, in the second line, you're just going to go up a whole step. You're going to go up two frets. I'm going to tell you what chords you need. We started with a D minor seventh on the fifth fret. And you're going to move up to the seventh fret. That same shape. Okay? Second and third fingers. This is an E minor seventh, exact same thing, a down, up. So an E minor seventh, low, and then a high, and then another low. So down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay? And then you're gonna play a, a C, uh, add two right there. So it's, the whole progression is gonna be, you start it out, and then E minor to an A, okay? To an A add two, A. E minor seventh, low, E minor seventh, high, and then low, down, up, down, to an A, which is, here's the F, here's the G, here's the A. So I'm borrowing the first two strings with my first finger on the fifth fret. Make that other, the A to F form shape. And you just add your pinky down on the up strum. Once again, to the first string, but to the seventh fret this time. So this is what we have so far. Now, we're gonna add the second half of the second staff the C, add to, and then to a C F form shape. So you notice how you play the G and now you're gonna play the, that same shape, but now your first two fingers have to be on the eighth fret. So you're gonna play down, down, up, down, C add two, down, down, release your fourth finger and give an up strum. All right? So minor seventh is right there, okay? Now 
On the third line, we're going to make a ninth chord. This is going to be a C sharp nine. I have the diagram right there. Some of my previous channels, I've gone over some ninth chords. So what we're going to do, we're going to put our second finger on the fifth string, fourth fret. First finger is going to go to the um, fourth string, third fret. And with your third finger, you're barring the first three strings on the fourth fret. So you're going to go. Down, down, up. So we're going to have. To a C major seventh. C major seventh. It looks like this diagram right there, and I'll go over how to make the chord as well. It's a second position bar chord. Second position bar chords means you only bar the first five strings. So I'm barring the first five strings on the third fret with my first finger. On the fourth string, my third finger goes to the fifth fret. Third uh, string, my second finger goes to the fourth fret. Second string, my fourth finger is going on the fifth fret. That's going to be a down up to a D minor seventh, down up to an E minor seventh, to a D sharp minor seventh. So a C major seventh, which is on the third fret, D minor seventh on the fifth fret. Just your first, second, and third finger, no fourth finger. E minor seventh is on the seventh fret. D sharp minor seventh is on the sixth fret. All right, so that's what we have. The A part. Old jazz standards like this just usually have two movements. All right, here's the B part. We're gonna play a G minor seventh. You could play it like this, where you borrow all six strings on the third fret, and your third finger is gonna go over here, fifth string, fifth fret. But if you play it like this, kinda looks like the, the ninth chord. My second finger is on the sixth string, third fret. I'm muting the fifth string, and I'm borrowing with my third finger the fourth, third, and second strings. And that's gonna be a down, up, choke, down, up, choke, down, up. You may wanna play it like this, because then we're gonna to go to the C, nine. Remember that ninth chord? Okay, G minor seventh, ninth. Down, up, choke, down, up, down, up, down, up. So I'm on the third fret of the G minor seventh. And then I just bring that down. Bring down my second finger from the fifth, um, from the sixth string, third fret to the fifth string, third fret. Put your first finger on the second fret, fourth string. Now you bar the first three strings for the ninth. On the minor seventh, you're barring the fourth, third, and second. The ninth, you're barring the first three. Now on a choke. Now, here's a bar chord. What you gotta do, you just gotta have that first string open. You can wrap your thumb on the sixth string first fret. Just put your first finger on the second string first fret. Put your thumb right there, all right? for an F major seventh. Some of these chords might be a little challenging, but they're worth it. There is, you know, this is some really cool chords, really cool chords. F major seventh to a C form. Well, what do you mean by a C form? Well, say if we had an open C chord using your first, second, and third fingers. Now we're gonna use your second, third, and fourth fingers. That's, your fourth finger is gonna go to the root which is the F, okay? And that's on the fifth string, eighth fret. First finger, you're barring the first five strings on the fifth fret, but you lift up your second finger. That's an F major seventh. You're gonna have four different forms here. The first one, and then this one. 
So my fourth finger, once again, is on the fifth string, eighth fret. My third finger is on the seventh fret, fourth string. And I'm barring the first three strings on the fifth fret of my first finger. And then we're gonna use the second position one. We've gone over that one before. And now we want 12th fret, first string, first finger. Second string, 13th fret with your second finger. Third string, 14th fret with your third finger. And then finally put your fourth finger on the fourth string, 15th fret. So you're gonna have the F major seventh, another F major seventh, C form, second position, and then one, two, three, four. Now you're gonna move this up, this progression to the A minor seventh. D9, down up, down up, choke, down up, choke, down up, D minor, down up, D minor 7th, E minor 7th, F major 7th, inside 9, inside 9 looks sharp but it's easy, you know how you make a D shape, like a D chord, well go to the 9th fret, and then put your first finger, it's going to be on the 5th string, 9th fret, 3rd finger is going to be on the 4th string, 10th fret, 2nd finger, Looks like a D, just looks like a D shape. The D is gonna be uh, third string, ninth fret. And put your pinky on the second string, 10th fret. Just strum the inside strings, the fifth, fourth, third, second, and first. So it's gonna be A minor seventh, D nine, D minor, E minor, F major seventh, D inside nine, G seventh. Here's a G major. So you're barring the first five strings. This is the second position bar chord on the 10th fret. So on the 12th fret, your third finger is gonna go on the fourth string and also on the 12th fret, your fourth finger is gonna go on the second string. And then you go right back to the A movement. So here's the B movement. F major seventh, F major seventh. F major 7th, F major 7th, A minor, D9, D minor 7th, E minor 7th, F major 7th, D inside 9, G7. All right, so we have a lot of the chord shapes for you to look at. I've labeled them. Screenshot, write this down. And I'm gonna play it, the A part and the B part because I'm running on, on 15 minutes here. Okay. And back to C major seventh. A little challenging, but it's well worth it. It's going to change your playing. If you guys, get any questions? Please comment. I'll do what I can do for you. And uh, once again, I'm thoroughly enjoying making these videos for you guys. Uh, here on the second day of the new year. Keep playing and have fun.